doing, buddy? <laughs> so we're changing out spark plugs. The uh, spark plugs that were in it um, got some street, a little bit of street miles on it. Yeah. So um, they're pretty, pretty cruddy. Although I'll say they're better than the set that I took out last week. So we're getting it closer. And where are we at today? We are in Virginia at the what? Streetcar Nationals? So it's a streetcar takeover at Virginia Motor Sports Park. And um, so they run, they've got a bunch of different classes. Right now they're running a bunch of roll race classes. And uh, we hopped in 10 0 because I can't run the shifter I have in the car right now in uh, stick shift. So, but we are teched in. It's a beautiful day. It's only supposed to be a high of 70 degrees. And there's literally not a cloud in the sky now. Yeah, it's gorgeous out. So, and the guy behind the camera, that's Jeremy Winters. He's literally my best friend. I've known Jeremy for forever. And, uh, he used to be this weekend, it was my birthday weekend, and he surprised me and came up and he got to help out, so all the way up. I just got done making the first pass um, it spun really really bad um, I mean it's probably it lit the tires off one of the worst I've ever had um, ran it was like a 158 60 foot and I had to drive it pretty good um, I uh, let's see I tagged the limiter a couple of shifts it was kind of a mess but it did go 144 mile an hour so I'd say we're, we're pretty well back in uh, the realm of what the car should be running uh, so I'm really happy with that. So we did uh, hop in the 10-0 class. So in order to do that, I've, I've pulled a little timing out uh, and, and lowered the leave RPM some to see if we can't get the thing to stick. So I'm not sure if it's a matter of uh, if there's just a bunch of street-tired cars here or something or if maybe they're actually kind of over-prepping the track. But uh, the car, it, it actually felt a little slick in the, a little more slick in the burnout box than I would, I even thought uh, was normal. So, um, and it seemed like it, uh, it, it really carried the burnout out a lot further. So granted, you know, like things seem to be happy on the, on the motor. It seems to be making a lot more power, but you know, back like what it used to be. So um, anyways, um, uh, we made some changes. We we're going to make another test hit and they closed the lanes on us. Uh, tried to get it done as much as quick as possible, but uh, that's just, I guess, is how it goes sometimes. So, um, 
they're gonna call us in the lanes here uh, I think here starting a little <clears throat> maybe another 20 or 30 minutes or so uh, after they run out what's left in the lanes for testing um, and uh, got a, a few got a few other uh, um, classes in front of us um, but looks to be like a pretty decent uh, crowd in the Tenno index I think it's uh, figures 27 cars maybe is what I heard so uh, it should be a lot of fun um, well, this this whole event is about having fun, having a good time. Uh, so you know, I've got my buddies here, uh, and we're we're hanging out. And uh, uh, if if the car go, if we end up, if I go out first round or second round, they've got testing until the end of the night. Uh, so we'll stick around. We'll make some test passes and turn it back up and see if we can't get the car to do as good as we can. So. Timing we pulled, and uh, I went and did a uh, short shifted, and I uh, hit the brakes and everything else, and it was just too much. So car ran a 988 at 113 or something like that. I burnt like 30 mile an hour off. So uh, good news is, is it seems like the car's acting correct again. So and we're gonna try and get a couple of test passes in. So uh, also looks like uh, Camden is still in. He's going on a third round in 10 so that's pretty exciting. Um, and uh, yeah.
Well, I totally screwed up on this pass, y'all. When I went to set the line lock to stage the car, I didn't give the pedal enough pressure, and the car ended up rolling the beams. In my experience, rolling deep like this is worth nearly a tenth. The car ran a 952 on this pass at 145 mile an hour, so I knew we were making some steam. So what what part are you at now? What part of the uh, part of the race? Semifinals? Uh, there's seven, we got seven left. We yeah, got how many? Seven left. We got seven left. So we got three runs and a bye. And you've run what? 10, 20, pretty much consistent, right? 10, 10 20. It's a, it's a 10, 20 bracket car all day. Turn up the boost a little bit. Hopefully bring it down to low 10. -0. This car was completely apart, what, earlier this week? Monday night, it didn't have a motor or transmission in it. Um, yeah. Been a rod, had some slugs out of it. It was back up and running Wednesday, went and tested Thursday, and now we're here. <laughs> That's awesome. Camden had made it through the third round, but had an issue with his alternator. I had just put a brand new alternator spare in my trailer this week, so I had him grab it out and put it in the car. Uh, Mr. Jason from Atlanta Hoisting Crane took the skin off his hands as he assisted Camden in getting it swapped out. Amazingly, they were able to get it swapped and made the final call for the semifinals. With every round, uh, there was more and more excitement buzzing through our pits as we started to wonder if he would take it all the way. Finally, my car is starting to come around. Other than a little excessive spin at the head and a little bit of a bobble on one-two shift, 
I'd say this was a pretty excellent pass. This is now the first time in two years I've felt I've got solid control over what the car is doing. We loaded the car in the trailer on a happy note for the first time all year. You excited? Awesome. it's been so it started off Friday I had taken off from work uh, to load up and prep um, and then of course uh, my buddy Jeremy surprised me with a trip up um, to celebrate my birthday weekend um, then we went down Saturday and had a great time um, I can't be more proud uh, of Camden uh, he really put in the work this week um, and he had the whole car apart um, I, I guess Monday, uh, he had the motor and trans out. Uh, he had been a, a connecting rod, um, Friday last week doing some testing and I think he'd pushed some water. Um, he put a whole nother, uh, connecting rod and piston assembly in that thing. So just super impressive. The tenacity of a 23 year old, uh, out there trying to make it happen. And then on his first real big event goes all the way to semi, uh, all the way to the final round. Um, and that's just, I mean, that, it's literally living the dream. So, you know, um, so he won a couple bucks, um, and, uh, he and his girl built some memories that, uh, that they'll have forever. Um, and it was great to see those guys, uh, you know, like I did the cage in Camden's car a while back, um, and, uh, did the cold side and, uh, uh, the dump pipe and everything else on that car. <clears throat> so... It's really good to see a car that uh, you know that I I'd put so much time and effort into uh, out there getting ran and uh, and also uh, going rounds. So, um, but yeah, so um, so there is a '67 Ford Falcon behind me. Um, no, it's not mine, uh, but I am going to be doing a, a whole bunch of stuff on it. So. Um, Stay tuned, because uh, I think that's going to be a fun project. So, uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, consider giving this a like and a subscribe and comment, too. So, uh, it seems to help. So, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me this weekend. And uh, I hope you all have a great week. Bye-bye.